Hello everybody. What's up? How's it going? What's up, Wolf fam? My name is Red Wolf and welcome back to another episode of Into the Dead 2. This is chapter 3. Um I kept saying that the girl, the family that we're trying to do that the girl was like his wife because I don't know why. She's obviously his sister. I like kept saying that she was his wife, but that's his sister, by the way, that's taking care of his daughter, our daughter. So, yeah, like, disregard the last episodes where I kept calling her his wife. That didn't happen. All right, here's three right up the bat. I wonder if we can avoid the cornfields. Probably not. There's also there's a thing crate of Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Fuck my life. Good, we're good. Oh shit. Alright, we got more ammo. <gasps> the anxiety is real. Okay, we got a knife. Thank God. Fields, like seriously. Oh my god. So it's not so hard looking at the screen instead of my phone. I think we're near that military base. I could cry. Him, him. Yeah, go. All right. Finally, we got through the first level of chapter three. God. That was really not difficult at all. I just had to make it difficult. that Coco's with us. She's so cute. I love when she's running one direction and it's just like, jump far to the left or far to the right. And it's just like, I'm gonna kill that zombie way over there. was gonna get that one but of course no 
Look at me. I can even switch. Fuck me. I can even switch weapons without looking down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, it's time for a grenade. I thought we were gonna get that, but obviously that was just me being stupid. As usual. Get that. We're almost there. thing right at the end. Well, we did select the thing to get more crate, more, um, more of these. Hey, we made it. Thank God. Oh, we ran into a fucking whatever the fuck that was. Alright. We got lucky. There's still a few soldiers camped out here. They're taking us in for now. Oh, that's great. Do what they say. They're gonna look out for you. Okay. I love you, brother. See? My brother and sister. I don't know why I had it in my head that they were husband and wife. That's creepy. Oh my god, more cornfields. I hate cornfields with a fucking passion. But dude, it's all right. I got you. Here we go. Here we go. I probably didn't have an assault rifle at this point. All right. That's why they were all in that car, like fucking a lot. I think I've mentioned this in the past in a previous episode, but like. Car alarms make me feel some type of way because of Left 4 Dead. Especially the first one. When you're like... Accidentally shoot the car or like somebody you're playing with shoots the car and a fucking horde of zombies come. And you just, you just fucked. And you're like, oh my god, get to the safe room. And like, you got all the special zombies. I can't wait to get my Xbox back again. I mean... I have it, I just don't have it with me because I'm not at home. I mean, I can't wait to go back home and play real fucking games. For this channel. But yeah, in case you guys were wondering, the reason why I'm playing all these mobile games and like, shitty flash games on a computer is because I don't have all my consoles with me. Okay, I thought that was gonna be but once I do, oh, this could be lit. <laughs> there was a waste of a bullet, but I freaked out, so <laughs> it's all good. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! The cars! No! All right, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. I got attacked by two zombies at once, and my dog only got one. I don't know how the fuck we survived that, but I'll take it. 
James. James, are you there? Yeah. Corporal Garcia and my brother's on the other end. We're keeping her safe, sir. I'm afraid we can't stop here long. We're heading to the CDC camp in Headley at 0500. We'll be taking your sister and daughter with us. Look, your sister explained your service. As a soldier, you know we can't wait for you. For anyone. Not anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Makes sense. Now we just gotta go to the CDC and find our sister and daughter. Yeah, fuck getting all the special, uh, the other achievements at this point. Because we just want to progress in the story. Because there's a mountain gun in this game, in this level. This kind of reminds me of the tiger one that I was talking about earlier. Like the tiger levels. Because we had to go through something like this. zombies in this one. We got this. We're good. Those are explosive barrels, but the zombies are not near them, so I can't really of freaking out. mounted gun at? Did we not get the mounted gun? Do we pass it? I guess so. Jeez. It should have been obvious. We didn't get the mounted gun. What the hell? I didn't see it anywhere. Daddy! Hey, Maggie. I helped cook dinner. Corporal Garcia let me help. <laughs> I bet you did an amazing job. Aww. Guess what Dad has? I found a doggy friend. A doggy! Yeah. And you can have him when I get there. I love you, honey. I love you too, Daddy. Aw. Coco is level five. Less he finds other, um... Do we have enough? Yeah, let's train her. She finds other crates for you. But, um, like I said, Lassie and Coco are my favorite because Lassie finds crates for you and then Coco saves you. Ooh, look at this pretty atmosphere. Oh, what?
I'm still stewing about the not finding that mounted gun. <clears throat> like, I'm gonna rewatch this when I'm editing this. It was probably right in front of my face. I mean, I just missed it. Oh my god, we're stuck! <sighs> oh! Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. God, that freaked me out more than it should have. I have really bad anxiety playing these types of games. Just because I am a sore loser. Ooh, we got we got whatever achievement. I can't read that because I'm too uh, into surviving. Ooh, dead trees. Look at this dead forest. I like this level. Like, you guys gotta admit. Oh my god. I hate when they fucking run like that. Um, you guys gotta admit, for a mobile game, this game is gorgeous. I love the atmosphere. And some of these levels, like this one, with the dead forest and shit, amazing. Like, it's so gorgeous. Oh god, that's a military one! I dodged him last second. I thought I could kill him, but I don't have, um... I don't have enough bullets to empty into this guy. We got this. What's wrong? Is everything okay? Like you say, okay is a strong word. I just... Hey, thank you for keeping Maggie safe. I know you hate kids. James, she's not just any kid. She's my niece. All right. Oh, I forgot about these luck bonus. Wasting all of our fucking gold again. Start with the chainsaw. Alright. Oh god, it's dark. It's better to look... My, my, actually, my phone screen is a lot darker than this. So it's a good thing to run through the... To... Run. I missed that crate. But that's alright. We got a chainsaw. We got a motherfucking chainsaw. We chopping zombies! It ran out! Oh my god. No, it didn't. What the fuck was that? Now it ran out. I don't know what the fuck that was. The chainsaw just disappeared and we got caught by a zombie. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Where's my hat at today? Oh. Ignore that. <laughs> oh my god. We missed that crate. It's okay, we're almost there. We got this. That was a bad timing to switch weapon too. Good job, me. Making all the right decisions. As usual. Oh, the dog got that one. 
One of Garcia's squad keeps saying that this is the apocalypse. That's what this is like, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I always thought there'd be more fire and brimstone. This is... This is a lot worse. Yeah, it is. We should reach Headley soon. Stay safe. You too. Trying. My leg is falling asleep. <laughs> Fucking dog just like jumps all the way over there to get that one zombie that's not gonna come anywhere near us. <laughs> That's all right. I appreciate you, Coco. I appreciate you and everything that you do, even though you didn't save my life in the last level time. How? Why does it keep happening? Like, the thing just disappears. I know it's not running out. I mean, it is running out, but, like, it didn't run out yet. Now it did. I think there's a glitch in a game with a chainsaw or like anything that's gas powered like that. There's a um there's also another uh thing that you can get. It's a trimmer. Um like the weed trimmer or whatever. I like that one too. I've never really had a problem with that. We're missing all the fucking craze. Can we get that? There's a zombie right there. Oh, my life fell asleep. It's tingling. Oh, this is not good. Oh my god, why is that zombie? Like, they're standing around like fucking cheerleaders. One of them was standing on their shoulders. That's cool. You guys do you. That was awful. I hate the ones that are laying down and then there's just like a bunch of them get up at once and it's like a group of them. And then you're just like, what the fuck? Oh, great, 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 great. Yes, please. The car was on fire. fucking daughter just died I don't remember that why do I not remember that wow I mean at least we weren't there to see it our dude wasn't there to see it I feel like that would have been worse I mean it would have been a lot worse um is this the one that we just did yeah is it wrong of me if I, like, really get excited about, like, apocalyptic, especially zombie apocalypse? Like, it would be cool to have one just for a week, you know? And then I'll be like, okay, I'm, I'm done with this. But I wouldn't want, like, Resident Evil zombies, like, fuck that. Or, like, special zombies. Or zombies that run. I want, like, Walking Dead zombies. Like, that's the type of apocalypse I want. Walking Dead apocalypse. Where really you just have to worry about people. <laughs> the fuck was that, my man? You alright? Like... <sighs> Oh, he's pissed now. He's like, my daughter's gone. <sighs> Sorry for 
in the fling. I can't help it. In case you couldn't tell, I'm a huge fan of the show. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it did stop being good. Uh, spoiler alert, after Kyle, Carl died, but I mean, if you don't know that by now, then you're living under a goddamn rock. <laughs> But yeah, after Carl died and Rick left the show, it was just kind of like, ugh. To be honest, I'm only watching for Negan and the Whispers right now. Hello? Someone? Anyone? Just fucking respond. Just fucking respond. Ah, fuck! <laughs> That's how I feel. Because I was so pissed. I'm a big fan of the comic books over the show. And like one of my favorite storylines in comic books was like the Negan Carl stuff. And also in case you haven't caught on, Negan is my favorite character. He will always be my favorite character. So as long as he's around, I will still watch the TV show. But like, I'm not gonna lie. It's it like it's picking up again, but like it stopped. <laughs> like it stopped being as excited as exciting as it once was. Cause like I remember I always used to in the beginning I always used to like make sure I'd never miss an episode. serving bullets this time, are we? But you know what? We need to get, what was it, 60 kills? Yeah, 60 kills. Alright, we're at 31. I feel like we can do it. Oh, the dog got that one. Okay. Everything is on fire. Fire. I thought that was a crate. I can't, you can't tell from the smoke. I like how I lean as I'm walking too. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Like I can't even help it. Fuck. Fucking military zombies too. That was pointless. Good job, me. We didn't get it, but oh well. Helen! Helen! Please tell me she's okay! James. Maggie's alive. They had to. What? They amputated her arm. She's lost a lot of blood, but they say she'll be okay. Oh my god. My baby girl. I'll let you know when there's an update. They're saying we've got to get moving again. Jesus. Well, at least she's alive. I wonder now. As, like... As far as, like, the, the apocalypse go... Because they did that in a show, too, and I, I'm sorry I keep bringing The Walking Dead back up, but, like, um, if you don't remember back in Season 3 when Herschel got bit in the leg, they amputated his thing. Um, that seems to be a common thing in uh, Zombie Apocalypse. Like, whenever you get bit, you have to amputate. Like, if you got bit in the arm or the leg, like, amputate it right away so the infection doesn't spread. But I wonder if that would work. Like, realistically... 
I don't think that would work realistically. Especially not, like, if we're talking about the Walking Dead kind of thing, because everybody's infected. They don't know what caused it, but everybody has it. And then you get bit. I don't know. Like, I don't buy into that whole thing. That's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see for the channel, make sure you put them in the comments below. If you want to become a part of the Wolf Pack, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit that like button with your paw. And I will see you in the next video.